everyone, very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and in today's video I'm going to do a look with the Kaleidos Cosmetics. This is a Futurism collection and this is the Cyber Bronze. So I have done a look with this, let's see here, Sci-Fi Green. <laughs> and if you haven't seen that, I will link that in the card as always. And this one looks like this and yeah. I've done a look with that and today I'm going to do a look with this so this looks like you can see the shades right here They are more like earthy with browns and you have a very beautiful silver and a red and this is more like a rosé I would say maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to use all these browns. I'm going to use the silver, this red. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this today but I'm going to do a cut crease and yeah, I'm gonna see how this goes. But I'm going to start to zoom you in guys and Let's start with doing that. I'm going to start with this one. And this is in the shade Druid. Druid. I'm not sure how to pronounce these uh, colors, so you have to excuse me if I am pronouncing them all wrong. Um, I'm just putting this in the crease and I'm going to cut my lid as I said. And as the sci-fi green, this is uh, a very soft formula as well. This is the same formula, obviously, and it contains a lot of cake up in the pan. But I don't mind that, but I just want to say that this is also a little bit cake up in this one. Now I'm taking this color. And I'm also placing this here in the crease. They blend very beautifully. I think I am not that light-handed <laughs> on this eye because it was a little bit can see a little bit patchy here but I think it's my fault because I go in a little too hard with the brush and yeah I have to try not to do that. I'm going in with that lighter shade again and I'm just gonna pull on this out a little bit. Now I'm taking this absolute darkest shade and I'm taking a smaller brush now and I'm just going to place it here in my crease as well, but not as high up as the other shades. Something like this. And now I'm going to cut the lid. I'm going to do like a half cut crease. Now I've done the cut crease and now I want to go in with that silver on the lid. And it's this one right here. And Let's see, this is in the shade Plasma and then I want to take this red in my outer corner of my lid and it's the infrared. I'm just starting with that silver. Ooh, look at that silver. This is really impressive. Now I'm going in with that infrared. I'm actually going in with this color right here now. This is the quantum. I'm going to take this as a transition between these two.
and I'm blending this into that silver so I think this looks pretty cool and I'm going to do the lower lash line now so I'm going to take this middle shade right here first and then I'm going to smoke it out with this and very close to my lower lash line I'm going to take this one I'm going to take the silver in my very inner part and I want to see if I want the red as well. But I'm going to start with that silver. And now I'm going to take that red again, that infrared, the darkest red, and I'm going to put it here, I think. And also taking that quantum, that was the lightest, not the, like the pinky shimmer. I'm just going to do like a little bit of a graduation, just a little bit. So guys, this is the finished look. I'm going to put some liner mascara, something in my waterline, something on my lips, and I'll be right back. So here you have the finished look, guys. I can just say I really, really like this look. I don't know if it's extreme or it's, for me anyway, it's not that extreme, but I really like the graduation and I really like that I used all these shadows in this palette. And yeah, uh, I put something in my waterline. It was the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Bruja. It's just a brown. I really like those. Those are very, very creamy and they last really, really nice. And the lashes I used is the Aylor Enchanted Divine Crime. Uh, the package looks like this. And for my lips, I actually used my wedding lipstick. I had this when I got married. I love this red. This is from Dior and it's the shade uh, Cinna, uh, 743 Cinna. It's not that often I actually wear red lipstick, but when I wear it, I feel so, so pretty. And yeah, let's talk about this palette for a while. Uh, I can say I really like this. Uh, I like the green as well, but this one, I don't know. As I said, I wouldn't pick it up uh, at first. At first, I just thought I would pick up the green one, but I'm so happy that I picked up all of these three. This was the palette I was least interested in, if you know what I mean. I was least excited about, but I actually really enjoy this. I think these three right here goes really nice together. Of course, they are like in the brown side, but I wouldn't change anything because I like this one because it's a little bit lighter and this is a little bit darker and this is actually really, really dark. So you can like deepen up really, really nice. And this silver is out of this world. This is just a crazy silver. This is so pigmented, beautiful, easy to apply, really blinding as you can see. And this one is really pretty as well. It was this, you know, this transition shade. I think this is super pretty as well. And this red is very pretty. Uh, maybe if I should, would change something, it would be this red. I want it more to be like a blood red, like more intense red. That would be really cool with the silver. That was my thought anyway in this look that it will be like almost my lipstick feeling to it, a little bit cool tone, but really, really dark, intense red against this silver. That would be so cool, but it's not that red. It's red, but it's not that intense blood red, but it is pretty though. So maybe it's more wearable uh, to have this than the red I would prefer, but 
I think this is super pretty palette. I really enjoy the quality of this. I mean, I didn't have any issue. The thing was when I was blending, I was blending too hard with my brush. So I have to be a little more light handed because I did see a little bit patchiness on, I don't know if this it was this eye or this eye, it, it doesn't matter, but uh, <laughs> I did go in a little bit hard with the brush and then it came like a little bit patchy, but I don't think that's an issue if you just are a little more light-handed, so that was my fault, I think, because I didn't have any problem with the other eye which I was, I don't know. I'm very excited to try the next palette. Let's see here, this is Friday, and on a Monday, I'm going to do a look with the third palette, that's the Cyber Pink, no? It's the palette Astro Pink. It looks like this. Oh my God, it's super beautiful. I'm very excited, I have to think of a look I want to do, so yeah. That's going to be interesting and fun because they have a lot of puppy colors here. So yeah, this was it guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And I try to upload Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, please do that. I will be very happy and I see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.